The easiest way to load photos is to drag and drop them from your Windows File Explorer. If you drop one on an existing photo, it will be replaced with the new one. You will see these fill arrows going at right angles from the centre. Dragging on the arrow ends allow me to resize and rotate the photo inside its frame. In fact, it has selected the Fill tool because I'm really adjusting the photo fill inside the shape. Just push on the photo to pan it within its frame. Using the Fill tool, you can click on any photo to adjust its size in the frame. Of course, to adjust the whole photo object, just use the normal selector tool method of resizing. The Photo tool provides a set of tools for adjusting the brightness, contrast, etc. Click on any photo you want to adjust, and then this set of controls becomes available. Just click here to show a slider control to adjust the brightness or contrast. This one alters the colour temperature, making your photo more cool or warm. This one adjusts the blur one way and sharpness the other way. The Enhance button applies an Auto Enhance. It works best on underexposed images. The Compare button is a great way to compare your adjustments. Each click toggles to the unenhanced version and back again to your last settings. These two buttons rotate the photo by 90 degrees. But look what happens when I try it on this photo. The photo is rotated but the frame background is not. In order to rotate the whole picture, photo and frame, use the selector tool. If you enter 90 degrees into the angle field and press enter then the whole group is rotated photo and frame. Now you adjust the fill inside the frame, as before using the fill tool. This photo has a pop-up effect. If I preview the web page and click to open the pop-up, you'll see the pop-up shows exactly the same as the clipped part of the photo. All photo edits in Web Designer are non-destructive. This means that I can restore the original or adjust any enhanced value at any time. When the website is created, an optimised JPEG is created of only the visible parts. I'll drop a new photo onto the page. You can crop a photo by just going onto the Photo tool and dragging across the image. You can adjust the crop at any time by dragging on the edges, like this. To make this photo act as a pop-up, just open the Link dialog and select the pop-up photo option. You can select it to be any size. If you want to add a caption to your pop-up, go into the Image tab and enter a short one-line description here. This photo is a really high-resolution image and it shows off the speed of Zara Web Designer. It's this fast even with a 50 megapixel image, but remember that it always creates a correctly resized image for the website in order to guarantee the optimum download times. Let's preview this and click on the photo to get my pop-up.